Okay, um, that was a very difficult loss for you know for us again tonight. Um, I guess make a special mention to my friend um, who passed away today. He was a tremendous coach and tremendous friend of mine was Ron Stewart, and um, I was really hoping we'd win the game for him um, because he's done a lot for me and, 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 and for our program. He was a great man. And um, I thought our kids, you know, gave a you know, good effort. But like I told our kids in there, you got to be ready to play from the beginning of the game, and you got to come out and you got to make shots and make plays. At the end of the day, you got to make some plays. And to their credit, they made some plays in the first – quarter for sure so we're chasing the whole game you know and we just even the second and third quarters well you know they were even or we gained four points we just didn't play well like we we're just fortunate I thought they didn't they didn't play particularly well then the fourth quarter we take the lead on a great one two separate leads you know Shea Hagan's shoe falls off we should have fouled somebody we only had three team fouls just to stop the play Instead, we let a kid shoot a three, and of course, she makes it. Then we let a, a, a player off their bench, you know, Kennedy, who made some big shots for her, make a big shot for them down the stretch. Like, you know, at the end of the day, we they made the plays, and we didn't. Sue, 35, made some tough shots. Like, you know, we got to make tough shots, too. At some point, this is Division One NCAA playoff level basketball. You got to make some shots. You got to make some stops. Like we got to grab that defensive rebound at the end of the game, so they lay the ball in on an offensive rebound. Again, rebounding costs this last game. Rebounding costs this game. You know, I, I give Alexia and Jayla a lot of credit. They came in and played their hearts off and uh, hearts out. And um, obviously, Azana came in and played a good game for us. And you can see what she has going for her. But we got to play better. We got coach better. You know. Just, just to, to allow them to to come out and score all those points, and then even in the second half, we scored 49 points, got our offense going, but they scored 45 minus the four foul shots. They scored 41 points at the end of the game in, in the second half. I'm like, come on, God, we gotta be better. So again, it doesn't get easier for us. It's where we play a real schedule, and unlike other teams, we we, we challenge ourselves all the time in the league. So yes. So coach, your two goals versus Jersey, Ocean versus Ivy. Was that? I mean, I don't know if it matters where they're from. I just, you know, we lost to two teams, two really good teams, two teams that won 25 games each last year, returned four starters and five starters. So, you know, at the end of the day, we haven't had, it, had, had that chance to play together. But, you know, we fought, we competed, and we got to fix this rebounding problem. That, that's a big issue right now. And, and, and letting them start off the way they did early in the game is just not okay. Lauren Park Lane? Yeah. I mean, listen, she's getting doubled all game. We don't have no idea what we're running half the time because we have new kids in there that know what they're doing. I think Lauren played as hard and as tough as she possibly could play. She didn't make some shots, but we're not setting her up. We're not doing enough. I thought Shea Hagan's really stepped up for us and started handling the ball and doing some other things for us. But, you know, Lauren, listen, I, I know Lauren feels bad because she knows she could play better, but... I love her, and if everyone played at her intensity and her toughness, we'd be 4-0 right now. Uh, Coach, uh, you mentioned the adjustments during the first half and the second half. Well, offensively, we wanted to reverse the basketball and get some movement in, and obviously that helped. It also helped that Alexia made some threes. I mean, take out Alexia's three threes, we're 2 for 15 from three again. That's, you can't win that way. They're 12 for 25. Like, they made some tough shots, including being down two and the kid making a three. Like, you know, come on. So, yeah, our adjustment offensively was to swing the ball and move the ball a little bit more. And defensively, was to come out and be, play a little tougher. And we didn't. We gave up 23 points in the third quarter. And I know 22, but 18 in, in really in the last quarter. That's not okay. Got to be happy about Azana Davis. Yeah, I thought Azana played really well and, and, and came back and starting to show what she's made of. But we need everyone else to get on board. And everyone's got practice, and everyone's got to get continuity. We got to know what we're doing better in, in these situations. I mean, to give up that three when the girl's shoe falls off, again, it's just, come on. You know, we, we, just right now, you make your own breaks, and we're not making our breaks. We got to do a better job of making breaks. Got to get on the floor more, got to get a couple loose balls, got to get that offensive rebound at the end of the game. Got to do that. I mean, they shot a good percentage and had 10 offensive rebounds. We had zero offensive rebounds in the first half. 
I thought Alexia came in and gave us great energy. Jayla came in and gave us great energy. Well, again, Sydney's got to move, and 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 really, it's a tough a guard for her. But you know, she's a good player, and she's going to be able to do it. She's just, you know, just struggled with it at times, and you know, obviously got in foul trouble, and that hurts her aggressiveness. And uh, you know, it's just it was just a total team and coaching loss today. Um, you know, we just got to do better. You know, they're a good team, though. I mean, they won 25 games this year for a reason. You know, we forget, it's almost similar. We were up, down one with 30 seconds to go there at Columbia when we got fouled or whatever. Here we're down one with 30 seconds to go and we lose. So, I mean, things happen. But we got to play better. If we played better, like last year I wouldn't have been upset if we lost. Because we played a good game. We didn't play a good game today. We didn't. We got to get a better rotation. We got to figure out what we're doing here. Like Maya Bembry has a great game and then today she had no rebounds. Like, that's not her. You know, Kay Sackfield's clearly struggling, and she's a better player than that. You know, um, you know, we, you know, last game Alexia struggled, and then she came back. So I need more consistency. I got to coach more better, and we need to be more consistent as a team. Will this trip, how, how this trip help you in that regard? I hope so. We'll see. We play three games in three days. You know, we obviously got to really test our shape, our level. VCU played, in the, we lost, we beat them by three points at NIT. Wisconsin's a very good team. They scored 100 points the other night. And obviously, Georgia is one of the top teams in the SEC. So we're going to have a hard schedule, a really hard schedule. Then we come back and play two league games. It's not easy. Like, you know, we set a schedule up so if we win enough games non-league, it gives us a chance. We still have plenty of opportunities. But we've got to start winning those games. I mean, Princeton was right here for us to win the game. Columbia is right here for us to win the game. So, you know, it stinks. So. Okay. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, everyone.